you know, continuing on with what I set up with, watching this, watching uh, this Watchmen premiere, which we just told you we really uh, enjoyed very much. Uh, watching this it makes me more pissed off, man, at this whole backlash at the at the Marvel movies. You know, again, to go back to Martin Scorsese saying his thing uh, about them, about them not being cinema, and then Francis Ford Coppola just coming in and just saying they're despicable, which means, you know, f*** them, I hate these things. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, as I said, Martin Scorsese, he started the fire, and Francis Ford Coppola just poured Brought gasoline, gasoline on, yeah. on, on that shit and just burned California down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, and see, what, what, what gets me with this is that I understand. I, this is the one time everybody's ready to cuss each other out on the internet. Everybody's ready to go at it. Everybody's ready to go at each other like a couple of pit bulls in a in, 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 in a in a in an illegal fighting ring, man. And when it comes to this, oh no, you know what? We here would like to let you know that we want to be respectful and we respect their opinions. And everybody believes their own thing. Man, f- them. They're people just like anybody else, which means they can be wrong, and they are wrong. Because watching Watchmen let me know that they're not only just talking about Marvel movies. They don't like, I, I'm willing to bet, they just look down on superhero movies in general. And, and you know, I, I, after watching Watchmen and seeing how good that, the, the, how, how good that premiere was. Now, look, you know, at the, at, by the time the show was done, Francis Ford Coppola might be over my couch looking at me talking about, I told you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> what you watching there? That bullshit? Uh-huh, see? <laughs> how you feel now? That bullshit. <laughs> but, you know, um, but, I'm, uh, but the first episode tackled so much so well, and it was right up there with any kind of drama that I would watch as far as its writing. As far as it's set up, I, you know, I it just irritates me because no one wants to talk about these guys because they're legends, they're geniuses. Listen, they are. They made great films. They made them when they were when they were young. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola, I have the utmost respect for him as a filmmaker. I don't care. He doesn't have to do anything else. He made Apocalypse Now. He made The Godfather one and two, three, uh, and he's made so many other films. He made a lot of that when he was in his twenties, man. Mm-hmm. But and so I love them, I respect them, but fuck them. You can kiss you look. You can kiss people's ass at the same time and tell them to shut the fuck up too. And I don't think you know, like they're people, and nobody has to tiptoe around somebody. You would tell anybody else to shut the fuck up that they were wrong about something. Why do we have to like sit up here and tiptoe around these these these, these people? I, I you know because I you know I and I and I tell you why it pisses me off. Uh. It pisses me off because now they got other, again, they got other artistes coming out trying to also shit on Marvel movies and superhero movies. If you look at some of the articles that have come out today, uh, Britain got this dude, uh, Ken, uh, uh, Ken Loach. You know, he's some, some of y'all are like, who the f*** is he? Well, he's, I tell you, it's a dude that has made a name for himself right now with a lot of people because he also jumped on the bandwagon and said Marvel films are made as commodities like hamburgers. You know, which he's also looking down on this shit too. I gotta be honest, man. A lot of this is can we consider the age of these people that are saying this? Yes. A lot of people don't even want to say that shit. But what I'm saying is that, uh, <laughs> a lot of only one, there's only been a couple of people that have come out. Jennifer Aniston is somebody that was younger and came out and said, Yeah, I agree. And people are like, man, bitch, shut up. You ain't you you know you you are in a you in an Adam Sandler movie right now. <laughs> you in murder mystery. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk about art with nobody. And let's look. Let's go on Rotten Tomatoes and look at your past films in the past, the you know, past recent years. Bounty Hunter was solid cinema. So. <laughs> I respect to Jennifer I got, Aniston. I got through about ten minutes of that movie. <laughs> respect to Jennifer Aniston as an as an actress. She's been in some things that I've really enjoyed. But you know, you trying to jump on this too? Yeah. Look at look at your shit and shut the. <laughs> The reason why I'm so hot and heavy about this, man, is because if we're going to talk about these people as cinematic legends and geniuses and talk about them, how they, you know, we respect them as filmmakers because they are part of the history of film now. And well, then they should know the history of film. You know, they, they should. They, the, you know, I'm looking at this and the, these are people who should know film history and yet they're being very ignorant about it when they talk about these Marvel movies. Marvel movies right now is something that is easy to pick on because it's very popular with the common people. 
Very easy to look down on that. Uh, I'm going to say something that's unpopular. I think these are these are two people that, that people forget that may be part of film history and that kind of thing. But let's keep in mind the two Hollywood directors that do have egos. And yeah. maybe they feel like, you know what, this stuff is coming and pushing us out. Yeah, and no, maybe you're they right. They have a problem there. Like they may feel marginalized. They may feel <laughs> like they're getting put out the pasture. I think no, I agree with you 100, percent 100. percent But I'm gonna tell you why I'm still not really agreeing how they're going about it. Because I, I, you, you hit, you hit it right there, man. Well, it's the ego things while they're going about it. Like I think <laughs> no, I think it is. I mean, you got one guy who, like I said, you got one guy who's who hasn't made movies that people have seen, you know, for over 20 years. And then there's another guy who can't get on on the big screen because it's being dominated by f-ing superheroes. Sure. And I get I get his frustration. But what he's saying here, when you say it's not cinema, you're actually not even talking about just Marvel movies, but you're also talking about you you're getting your history wrong with cinema. I know who am I to sit up here and tell Martin Scorsese or Francis Ford Coppola, anybody else about the history of cinema? <coughs> well, you know what? Uh, if you if, you, <laughs> here go. if you're full of shit, <laughs> I'll let you know. And I think they're full of shit, and they should know better. Um, you know, Marvel movies are comic book properties that are easy to pick on right now, but they are just a cycle or, or recycling of events that have happened throughout cinema history for years, man. Uh, Marvel movies are what sci-fi and horror films and other genre films used to be back in the day, mm-hmm. as far as being something that... New Kid on the Block. It, well, it also, well, New Kid on the Block, but they they were dismissed by the artiste of their time as being B-movie schlock material that was just meant to entertain on a basic level. You know, yeah, you had aspirations. You tried to say something big, but, you know, I, come on, seriously. This is not for, this is not real filmmaking, y'all. Really? Right? Uh, where time has proven that these films have probably captured social issues and have been remembered for catching those social issues probably as, as well as and doing them as well as are, are better than some of the quote unquote legit films of that time period uh, when you go I, I'm speaking for myself I don't know about a lot of people out there but I know uh, when I the, one of the first things that happened to me when I go to film school mm-hmm. you know when I go to film classes uh, uh, my first film uh, my first film class History of cinema. One of the things they do mid semester is that uh, is that they teach you the impact that these so called B movies and genre movies had at the time, and how that impact has actually maintained over time, and <clears throat> has become historic pieces of cinema. Star Wars. Star Wars is one, but I'll take you back even further. You know. <clears throat> Let's look at some things that, that, that you get all in one. Sci-fi and horror. Bringing a new dimension in terror to the giant super scope screen. You know, this was a movie where the commentary was about who are the communists among us. You know, communism was such a big, scary thing for people. Who are the, who are the people hiding among, among us that might be Ruskies and communists and people who hate America? Ruskies. Yeah, yeah you know, this is an invasion of the body snatchers about taking the identity of people not knowing who to trust. Oh, that's this, Kevin McCarthy. Yeah, Kevin yeah, McCarthy in there. Yeah. He went on to do a uh, Twilight Zone movie at one point. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, you look at straight horror. Dawn of the Dead. Sequel to uh, Night of the Living Dead. That's known for its message about consumerism, capitalism, all these you know people just shopping like zombies and whatnot. Another thing that, that movie was about was about class and the fall of, of civil or, or society when something goes down. How the lower class and the poverty written are the first to suffer. Al Sharpton. <laughs> That's what I kids do. Something has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> you know true. that that is a that that is a, a straightforward horror movie, gore, all you know, blood, guts, all kind of stuff. And yet, both that and Invasion of the Body Snatchers have remained to this day classic pieces of cinema because they have made statements that have been long lasting 
throughout time. One of the reasons why this succeeded is because it was such a cinematic achievement because they were able to work cheap, which actually worked to, the, to its effect, which sure. made it seem like it was real. So get the fuck out of here with this. This ain't cinema and it's high attitude. I fucking hate these high attitudes, man. Even rubber monster movies back in the day are remembered now to be classics, especially the ones where they were commenting on the fear of the nuclear age. One moment of history making violence. Nature, mad, rampant, wrought its most awesome creation. There is no word to describe them. <laughs> you know, these just did a close up of a goddamn uh, grasshopper. Yeah. What do you mean, grasshopper? That was a rubber toy. Remember those movies? I'll let you get back to your point. Remember the movies in the 70s where the TV shows were supposed to be a, like a giant panther and it was just a cat playing with yeah, toys? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just, a big, just, a, that, right? just a big giant piece of rubber. Just somebody yeah, yeah. just shaking that shit. But you know something? Yeah. It's remembered today. As being of something, course. you know, it's, it's, rem it's cheap and schlocky as it was, something that's being remembered today as being a, a big commentary about the time. And that's why you remember it. But let's not, you know, talk about just the messages behind these things and the social issues they're tackling. Uh, let's talk about the opportunities that some of these things have actually given people that, by the way, some of these f***ing artists haven't given people. These movies are the ones that take chances. These movies are the ones that do things that other people who do legitimate dramas and other things don't want to do because, you know, those are seen to have a higher audience and we don't want to shake the system up or make, you know, make people feel uncomfortable. Um, well, they, those, those movies hired no-name actors. Yep. Yeah. Scorsese won't go with anybody whose last name ain't DiCaprio or De Niro. <laughs> That's the truth. I mean, I mean, name one lead in one of his films you can that wasn't a matinee idol. Shit, you got people sign up for more Scorsese movies who were changing their names. What's your name? Larry. Larry who? DiCaprio. Right, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, he's always about against the, you know, doing this and that. Doesn't yeah. change anything like you that. Make, no, you make an excellent point because, hey, listen, when nobody wanted to go out there and take chances on a black lead in a movie. Now, there were some, don't get me wrong, and there were some that were legit. 1965, you had Sidney Poitier in the Bedford incident. So I'm not going to say that this is a movie where you have uh, the first black lead in a film, but it's right 60, up there with yeah. the, it's 65, and you have it right up there with, uh, I think, well, uh, the, the Night of the Living Dead came out in 69, I believe. And you have like maybe up there in the first two or three, maybe four black leads in a movie, in a horror movie that actually s survives until the end. They shot that yeah. Negro's head off at the yeah, end, but, the end yeah. but he yeah. made it to, to the, the end. end. Come back to life to seek human victims. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. You know, that brother took charge, too. He was pushing around other white actors saying, listen, you can get the f*** out of here if you don't yeah. want to hear me. You want to take a chance with Negro, go out there and take it out with some other hungry ass white people. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you Stop go bullshit. Ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do. I've been through this before in different ways. But, yeah. Yeah. but he was, you know, they took a chance with this man being the lead in a movie where Especially it wasn't in popular. A low budget. Yep. Especially in a low budget. That's even more of a chance. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. See? I'm Let's serious. not forget I mean, the opposite. Because yeah. people don't want to see it, they ain't going to make no money. Yeah. Sorry, but no, no, I, no. Please chime in, cause you're right, man. Please, please, you've been hitting. The, you, you've hit your mark every time you said something with it. <laughs> just, I'm just, you know, it just no, you, you, me no, too, but... you made great points. <laughs> and coming back to what you said earlier, uh, this is 2019, and thanks to some of these genre movies and especially Marvel movies, 2019. Well, well 2019, but 20, 2018, we had some first. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Black Panther is the first black film to cross a hundred million dollars. Two white people, uh, that's uh, it. Yeah, yeah. In a high, yeah, exactly. <laughs> True, the only two up in there. Yeah. And people argue, was those two white people that brought the money in? <laughs> Get the <laughs> out of here. <laughs> but it was, it's also the highest grossing uh, movie by a black director. But uh, can you imagine that 2018 in a movie with a big black cast is the first one to cross a hundred million dollars. Now, here's something I got to say to fucking Martin Scorsese. You're talking about how these movies are cinema. What the fuck you been doing for black people out there? Not that you were obligated to. You go ahead and have your t Italians shooting each other and whatnot and being each other up. But, you know, you talking, leave that shit to yourself, man, talking about they're not cinema because this shit is giving people opportunities that right. you ain't ever fucking done. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he he, did, he, he, he shot did, Sam Jackson in 1990. He got Sam in head 1990. He got Sam Jackson with his head shot off by a fucking shotgun by Joe Pesci. Yeah, it was a regular gun. Yeah. It was a regular gun. I thought he had a shotgun. But anyway, he blew that <laughs> head off. The way they blew that nigga's brains out, he may as well have been a shotgun. Because his red painted the walls, the yeah. mattress, the floor. 
So she didn't look like some shit out the shining. Yeah, everybody <laughs> loves like, stacks. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that was your casting. So shut the fuck up about that. Your cinema <laughs> is not really doing what other cinemas doing for everybody. You know, I don't want to hear this shit, man. Wonder Woman. You know, I'm not even talking about Marvel. So you you put you're gonna put uh DC in there with Marvel. You just Marvel's just the most popular thing. Right, right. I mean, based on what he's saying, it's it's, it's the same thing. It's the same as thing. As far as I, 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 the way I'm interpreting, you know, Wonder Woman and even Captain Marvel offering strong representation for girls to see. Where most movies have lacked that for young women. What the fuck have you done for women in your movies? Not that you're obligated to, but these movies are doing it. Shut the fuck up. You know, I mean, it's it's cinema to somebody, and it's cinema that really means something. I get the, to your point. Mm. I get where they're coming from with 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 this. Uh, also, Marvel's oh, gonna put. I mean, you know, Marvel's putting out the, their first Muslim superhero. You know, the uh, Miss Marvel. Oh yeah. You know, they're gonna have that represented on the big screen. What the fuck are these other directors doing to bring underrepresented people to cinema? Because that type of fucking cinema ain't doing that. Meanwhile, these movies are taking chances. You know, mm-hmm. I, get get the fuck out of here with that, man. Uh, I get what Martin Scorsese is saying, but say it that way. Put your fucking aggression in the right place. I do agree that these movies are kind of, you know, they're, they're pushing, they're pushing, they are pushing out legit dramas, you know, on the big screen. You know, he couldn't get the Irishman sure, um, made to get onto, uh, that's why he had to go to Netflix. It's not the, it's not, it's the, the, uh, the superhero movies aren't the ones pushing these movies out. It's that the superhero movies are what people are going to see. Yes. So yeah. you can't blame the movies for that. No. No. I mean, you know. I, and the same, what's happening with superhero movies has happened before with westerns. Yes, it did. And, yep. and, and detective uh, you know, shows and, and movies. Yep. It's, it's, it's cyclical. It, exactly. It's cyclical. And what happens is, and I'm sorry, but a lot of people don't, they don't want to use the term, but I mean, if you, and I'm, I wouldn't say this, look, if you're older and you kind of get it and you're, you're cool with it, nobody's going to say anything. Even if you say I'm older and it's not my thing, that's, that's a legit response. But when you try to cover it up and say, I speak for this, so therefore it is not, then you're kind of showing your age too. We've gotten to the point where these guys, as much as we love and respect them, they're, they they just don't get it. They're older, man. They're old, <laughs> and they just don't. You know, this is not not their thing. And so, you know, they're the old people who think that they they speak for everyone when they really don't. Well, I, I don't know. I, not 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 Coppola so much, but with Scorsese, I didn't. At least I didn't read that as him speaking for everyone. It wasn't like he said, "Let me hold a press conference and tell you all Marvel movies. I hate them." He's talking about something else, and somebody asks, "What do you think about these?" Eh. Didn't like them. I tried them. To me, they're not cinema. Because to him, cinema is stuff. Is French New Wave and it's uh, 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 Ingmar Bergman. That was that was that to him. He's like, that's what I'm going for. So and this other stuff is not it. So yeah. okay. So so say he 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 says, yeah, that's not cinema. But what he really means is, it just doesn't work for me. If it, if he had left it at that, I'd be fine. You left it off as a definitive. You left it off as like they're not cinema. Not like I don't feel they're cinema. They're not cinema. Hey, listen. There's a lot of music I don't like out there. Yeah. I there's a you know, I I'll tell you I told you before, I I love hip hop, but a lot of stuff I don't know today cuz I just some of it's just not my thing. Some of it I don't, you know, I just can't keep up with, but I never came out and said, "Man, that's not music." You know, cuz I know that that's a that, that's that's kind of a condescending attitude. Sure, sure. You 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 you're very conscious of that. And yet it still you could say anybody could have a slip of the tongue. Say something they mean one thing and they think they're saying that, but they said it the wrong way, and it gets taken, and, and people run with it. And you know, in the day of the internet, that happens 60 times a day. And you know what? I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm reading that. And you know what? If I did say something like that, I'd take it. I was like, yep, well, I said it. <laughs> you know, so I, you know, maybe I'll say, I'm sorry, maybe I won't. But hey, you know what? I said it. It got taken like that. You know, what can I say? I'm, I'm really, I'm willing, I'm, I'm willing to say when I'm wrong about something. And so, therefore, if I'm condescending this towards something and people call me out on it, then that's fine. Because I probably said it as a public figure. You say something as a public figure, you are not above scrutiny. You are not above criti- criticism. Sure. Just like you I, criticized it, nobody's above I'm, it. I'm not going to say f*** the guy because he doesn't like the same movies I like. Because him not liking it doesn't affect me. I'm not saying f*** the guy because he doesn't like the same movies I like. I'm saying f*** pe- his opinion and f*** the people dancing around this because... 
I just went through a whole thing where I gave an example of why he's wrong about his history of this. And as somebody who's who is who was so proud of cinema, they should be able to recognize the importance of all of it and not look down on it. You know, there's a lot of movies I don't f-ing like, but I'm not looking down on them. You know, what I mean, that's it, 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 because it's wrong. It's not about an opinion. You, have, you know, you you're looking at this and you're saying that this is not cinema when they are. You know, they. I mean, and, and like I said, time has proven, time and time again, has proven that a lot of these things. They end up having lasting effect in cinema and looked upon as cinematic history because of the impact that they've had. And some of these Marvel movies are going to be the same way. Right. But if you live uh, live long enough, you'll see some things that come up and they're super popular and then they go away. And then a couple decades later, people are laughing about, wow, I remember when when we were into that or or they were into that. Some things last. Some things don't. You don't always... You can't always call it. Like right now, we we are at an, an age where I feel like, say, twenty years from now, and suddenly Dragon Ball Z is a big genre in itself. Yeah. But you know, we know we've seen Dragon Ball Zs, and it's like, yeah, it's mostly guys fighting in the air and, and screaming at each other. But you know what I said after that? I said people like this is for them, and I appreciate it for that. I never came in with the attitude of like, well, this looks stupid. Or ah, this is really this isn't really a TV show. You know, I never came with that attitude. At, during my interview, I made a joke, and I came back afterwards, and I said, "But I respect it." Not now, you haven't. What's that? Twenty years from now, you may. What may say what? You may be like, eh, yeah, I'm not. That's not. That's not real. Well, I'm talking about now. Twenty years right now, I might even be on the planet. I'm talking about how I feel right now and how I see things. I know. Change. I'm relating this to the age that he is from where you are now. Yeah. Well. I'm not there. All I can do is speak for now, and hopefully I won't have that kind of attitude, and I don't really have it now because I don't think I have that kind of condescending kind of attitude. And, and we would all hope that, that, that you wouldn't, but you might. And you know what, Mark? If somebody if somebody you, calls you, me out on it, I'm going to say, you got me, all right? I mean, Mark, we're not going to agree on this, man. <laughs> you know, well, we can I'm, argue, I'm, but we're I'm not. I'm not trying to get you to agree with me. I'm just saying you're really going on about something that is not Well, for one, we deal. got a show, man. We got a show to talk about. This is material, and this is something that, you know, that I think that it makes for good content, and I have a point. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and just, you know, we have a show to do. It's something that's talked about. It's something that's out there. And so, yeah, it's important for me because, for one, I got a fucking show to do. For another, it is something I do feel kind of passionate about because I think they're fucking wrong about it, and I just proved why. And for another, it's like, hey, man, you know, this is something that, while the conversation's happening, yeah, maybe it doesn't mean a big deal to you, but people will actually listen to a conversation about it. I think the best... <clears throat> Example on this issue w- would be the 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 George Romero thing, the Black Panther thing, stuff like that. Even even the 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 the, the actors that aren't big, you know, when, you know the no name actors they get hired for that kind of stuff. Sorry, I missed. You know, no, no, I had to go take a massive yeah. shit, so I missed the, the part where the old. Yeah, that. <laughs> you took a quick shit too. Hey, you must have squeezed that out. No, I didn't squeeze nothing out. It was like everybody out. Yeah, he's 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 usually gone and back like this. <laughs> you, you barely noticed that he left. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, well, I, I could have swore you just took a piss. When no, you man, they took they hit the emergency exit. Um, but uh, <laughs> don't try to meet Loaf. But uh. <laughs> no, but I mean that, that's why I was agreeing with you on that point and all that stuff, and definitely the cinematic thing. I'm not sure what this part is, but uh, but those are good points on that, and I understand why you're passionate about that part. Um, I just definitely. I really just don't like, and now even if Martin Scorsese can't be held, you know, accountable, you can argue what he said. I don't, I, I mean, I, I respect the opinion. You think it's not that big a deal? I think like, well, apparently it is a big deal because now he's got other people jumping on it, and other people are having these real kind. And maybe he didn't have it, but other people are having very condescending attitudes. Was this a solicited and, statement? And, 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 you're, and you're right. You're right about all these other people. They're 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 bandwagoners, and they're coming out with this. And every time they do it, especially you get somebody like Jennifer Aniston saying that, I'm like. You know, all you're doing right now is is cutting off an avenue for yourself. Yeah. The way you you could have had, the, you might have later <laughs> said, "Oh, you know what? This would have been a good thing to do." Right. And everybody's not like, "Nah." <laughs> you could have been playing. You could have been playing yeah, somebody's yeah, mama. Yeah, yeah. Be. yeah. Like Denzel would say, "No, nah, you you don't f- that up." And, yep. and it's come down to a point where it's like, shut. "Okay, well, you know, the thing is, you said it." I'm talking about Martin Scorsese. You said it, and now it's had an impact where other people feel that they can come in and double down on it and say worse things. So it's like even if you didn't say anything that was considered to be a big deal, now you said something that other people are coming in, and so it all has to be addressed. Was this a solicited statement or unsolicited statement? That's what I want to know. Solicited. Somebody asked him about it straight up. Okay. 
Yeah. Right, I, I was just wondering. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Yeah. All right. And I, I mean, it yeah. sounds like Coppola's. No, Coppola. Yeah, I don't think his was solicited. Yeah. No, he just Coppola's came like, down. Anybody yeah. remember me? Yeah. yeah. I, I got they're despicable. Yeah, what? Despicable. How do you even apply that that adjective to Hank. his movies? Yeah, I you know, so yeah, I, I yeah, mean, despicable is like really with contempt. Yeah, and 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 look, we all have. It's like when, if somebody doesn't, whenever somebody has something, or this kind of like they don't really feel anything about, it, like why you care? And it's like, well, we talk about things all the time that we care about. You know, I mean, I've heard. A lot of people, yourself included, myself included, talk about shit that, you know, that doesn't, we're not going to get a check for it. We're not going to get anything for it. But we've gone deep we're in not. on it, you know. So it's like we all do this. And like I said, we got a fucking show to do. It's a topical thing. And I think I have an opinion on it. So, yeah, it's not like I'm just going to sit in and be like, well, you know, I ain't get a check. That doesn't stop us from talking about anything else before. Yeah. And by the way, I am getting a check for this, you know. So, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm getting. Say, Hold on. <laughs> I'm Try one today. It's not just about is a cinema is a not cinema. It's not that. It's like they should know better. That's where it is, man. All these that you know, I just gave you a list of things where they've had an impact. Where people kind of just blew them off for being just average horror movies or sci-fi movies. I'm not sure Coppola does know better. <laughs> I gotta be honest, man. I think my man, little, he, he opened up them, them wine fields. I think he might have popped a cork. Man. Yeah, he, might, he might, be, might, might have been drunk. Yeah, yeah, he, he might, might have been drunk. Yeah. Been drunk. I think those movies are disgusting. Yeah. yeah. He, I think you see grapes all behind him and shit. Nah, the French. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what? He said, Francis Ford Coppola doing what everybody else doing. He's gonna throw a bottle of wine, drinking, like, you know what? Yeah. It's despicable. <laughs> but it's also Vincent. Vincent. Just having this, the, 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 the condescending attitude is, is looking, you're looking down the wrong thing. You know, that's, uh, and I think that people will understand it and listen to your point more. And I think, you know, y'all are geniuses and, 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 and legends. So, I mean, people listen to you anyway. But I mean, I think people be more agreeable to your point if you put it out there like that. You know, there's, I, I think it's really misplaced aggression that's happening at this moment. So I don't know. But I, I hear what you're saying, too, you know? I mean, yeah, I'm not trying to just shut you down and say, man, why we got to talk about this? I get it. I'm just saying, I'm just offering a counterpoint. I, and I, you were yeah. kind of filibustering. Yeah. No, I, I got the no, I got the counterpoint. I do. <laughs> and you, you can take your counterpoint and shove it up your ass. I got, the, I got your counterpoint right here. Yeah. <laughs> I got the counterpoint. Yeah, I, I got the counterpoint. I can, I can read between the pauses. I, I, I got the I got you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching the whole video. And you know what? You've done a lot for me. But I, if I can ask you one more thing, can you hit the subscribe button? You're not going anywhere. You like us that much. Get notifications. And since you're not going anywhere, join us on our main site, doubletoasted.com. Over there, you'll find the long version of this video, along with many others, uncensored unedited and also the live streams that we do almost every night of the week support us at dpmerch.com that's our store and also don't forget stay posted